What's up guys, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and in today's video I'll be showing you how you can fix the new Valorant update that completely bricks your mouse and keyboard. It's a bit of a crazy unbelievable tale but apparently this is actually happening. Now unfortunately it hasn't happened to me in particular because the anti-cheat doesn't let me play the game in the first place. However, I have come across a reputable fix that even has the Facet team responding to it. So hopefully this video is enough for you to get your PC working once again and your mouse and keyboard working, and of course, Valorant. So looking at Reddit over here, this is the post that I'm talking about. Guide to fix Vanguard disabling mouse and keyboard on startup. Over here, he talks about the Vanguard blocking your mouse and keyboard due to a driver called interception. This is used by a lot of different programs from splitting keyboards into controllers to mouse acceleration, etc. So to fix it, all you need to do is download and install Interception, then simply uninstall it and restart your PC. And if we scroll down a little bit, the first response at the very top over here, sorted by best, is the Faceit Anti-Cheat team. Now, of course, Valorant uses Vanguard. Faceit is a different anti-cheat for a completely different game. However, they responded here because their anti-cheat suffered from the exact same thing. Basically, what downloading and installing this Interception software does is it edits two of your registry keys over here. Uninstalling it resets it back to the default settings of mouse class and keyboard class, which is probably something that's being corrupted by the Vanguard anti-cheat, causing your mouse and keyboard to brick up completely. So this tutorial is going to assume that you have access to your PC and your mouse and keyboard are working. If your mouse and keyboard aren't working and you aren't able to control your PC, what you need to do is go ahead and boot it into safe mode, preferably with networking. That'll be for the second half of this video, though you can boot it into just plain safe mode if we want to go ahead and do the more advanced fix that doesn't require downloading third-party software. Now, of course, I'm a fan of doing things myself. It may be a little bit more confusing and a bit more technical, but it is a lot safer than downloading third-party software. If you're comfortable with doing the easier, possibly quicker fix using the third-party software up here, then that will be in the second half of this video. You can skip to it with the segmented play bar right below or look for the timestamps in the description below. So we'll go through this registry fix over here, which is exactly what downloading, installing and uninstalling interception does. What we need to do is get control back of our mouse and keyboard, assuming we boot it up normally and we can control them or we booted into safe mode. You don't need safe mode with networking here as we won't be connecting to the internet at all for this fix. So hold start and press R to bring up the run dialog, then type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T, reg edit, one word and hit enter. Then hit yes when prompted for admin and we'll see this window over here pop up. What you need to do is either look at the Reddit posts and copy this URL over here, then paste it into the very top over here, which is what we could do, Otherwise, what we'll do is we'll look on the left hand side, we'll open HKey local machine by clicking the arrow next to it, followed by system, then current control set, followed by control, then we'll expand class, and we get a huge list of numbers over here. What we're going to do is look for a very specific set of numbers. So as you can see, they all start with the same curly bracket character, but then they go into numbers and letters. So we'll scroll down to four as such, this is four. And we'll look for 4D36E96B and 96F. So 4D36, 4D36E96B, E96B. We can expand that and we'll look down for E96F and we'll expand that as well. So these are both your keyboard and mouse classes respectively. So I'll click on the first one ending in 96B. Then I'll look for upper filters and I'll either press enter after it's highlighted or I'll double click on it. Then you can enter more than one value into here. So don't be afraid of adding new lines. Of course, you can either get rid of everything and type it in straight or leave what is already here, here and just make sure that the last line is this. So KBD class, one word, no spaces afterwards and no spaces before. It's fine if it's the second or third line here, just as long as it is here as such. Then we'll hit enter afterwards and make sure there's a new line over here. Then we'll hit OK and you can see it's saved properly. If we don't press enter at the very end of this and hit OK, you'll get this error over here. So make sure that the end is in fact an enter as such and then hit OK. Then we'll look for 96F and we'll click on it. Then we'll double click on upper filters once again 
and inside of here, we'll make sure MOU class one word or lowercase is here. And of course, a new line with no spaces on the end or beginning. Then we can hit OK. And we're basically done with the fix. From here, you'll need to go ahead and restart your PC and things should be working as normal. Though, looking back at the Reddit post over here, that was the more advanced way of fixing it, which is exactly what installing and uninstalling interception does. So, of course, if you can bring up this page on your computer, simply go to this address and download this .zip so you can click on it or open it in a new tab. Of course, assuming that you don't have this video open on the PC affected by it, we can head across to GitHub and enter this page ourselves, which is exactly what I'll do here. So, assuming that you either have mouse and keyboard access or you boot it into safe mode with networking, we can go ahead and open a browser of our choice. Then we'll head across to github.com as such, and at the very end of it, we'll add a forward slash O-B-L-I-T-U-M, and we'll hit enter. Oblitum. Then we'll find interception. It's over here, 437 stars, 123 forks. Those may be a little bit different, but it should be at the very top over here. We'll click on it, and we'll get to this page over here. We'll then click on releases. We'll scroll down a bit, and we'll click on interception.zip. This is the exact link that we had earlier from the Reddit thread. I'll click on it to open it once it's done, and I'll close out of Chrome. Then I'll extract this file to my desktop and close out of the zip. I'll open the folder on my desktop and head into the command line installer folder. Then I'll click at the very top so I can get the folder's URL. I'll right click and copy. Then I'll press start and type in CMD. Right click on it and click run as administrator or click a run as administrator on the side if you see it pop up like this. Click yes if asked for admin. Then we'll go ahead and type in CD space and we'll paste in the link that we copied earlier. I'll hit enter. and As you can see, this first section over here changed to be the folder that I entered. Of course, if it hasn't changed, then make sure that the drive letter here, so in my case C, is the same as C over here, which is the folder where it's in. If it isn't, Simply find the letter over here, and I'll be typing it in, followed by a colon. So, say this folder was on E, I'll enter E, colon, and hit enter. Then, you should see this happen, but it'll be the folder that we entered. Of course, because it's not on E, I'll enter C, colon, enter, and now we're in the right folder. So, I'll then hit tab, and you'll see install interception.exe pop up. I'll put a space, and I'll type in forward slash uninstall, and hit enter. Assuming you get an error like this saying error deleting keyboard driver key, what we need to do is press the up arrow key and we'll get rid of uninstall. And we'll type in install this time as such. Hit enter and as you can see interception successfully installed, you must reboot for it to take effect. Here you can choose to reboot your PC or hope that uninstalling it right away works, which is what I'll do here. I'll type in uninstall, hit enter and this time instead of an error like we got earlier, you can see interception uninstalled, you must reboot for this to take effect. So I can close out of all of the windows and possibly even delete this interception folder if you'd like and restart your PC. From this point, you should be able to launch up Valorant and play it as usual and your mouse and keyboard should also be fixed. So a link to this Reddit thread will also be in the description down below. Whether this is or is not the actual Facet team, I'm not exactly sure on how to verify that. Though, looking at their Reddit profile, they are very active on the Faceit Reddit, and they do provide a lot of technical support and offers to help when people have technical issues. So, I would assume that they are rather trustworthy, and of course, if you would like to avoid downloading third-party software at all costs, doing this registry fix that I showed you first will probably work as well. But anyways, that's about it. Hopefully this video helped you. My name is Vintech Nova here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.